So you're thinking about buying a new build home in Las Vegas. You are in the right place. Today, I'm going to walk you through the 10 things to know when buying a new build home in Las Vegas, whether you're a first timer or it's been a while since you last purchased a home. Buying a new build home is a unique experience. It's not every day that you get to make such a big decision. And I'm here to make sure you're well prepared and informed. Also, at the end of this video, there's a special bonus tip at the end. It's a game changer that could significantly impact your home buying experience. So make sure you stick around till the end. Let's get started. If this is your first time to my channel, my name is Romero. I'm a licensed agent here in Las Vegas, Nevada. If you would like to stay up to date with all real estate here in Las Vegas, tap the subscribe button below. Also tap that bell for notifications. That way you always stay up to date with the real estate market in Las Vegas. These tips are in no particular order. Now let's get started with the 10 tips when buying a new build. Tip number one, research the builder. Choosing the right builder is super important. You want someone who builds great homes and takes good care of their customers. The best way to find out about a builder is to see what other people are saying about them. Nowadays, it's really easy to do this. Just go online and read what other customers have written about their experiences. You can learn a lot from these reviews. I can give you some advice, but it's always a good idea to look up things yourself too. Picking a builder that a lot of people are happy with is usually a smart move. Tip number two, understanding the community. The community where your new home is can be a big difference in your life. Think about what's in the neighborhood. Are there parks where you can relax or a dog park for your furry friends? Maybe is it a gated community for extra safety or perhaps there's a community pool where you can cool off in the summer. Trails for walking or biking can be a big plus too. Also, it's also smart to check what might be built in the future. New things in the area can change how it feels and might affect your home value. Tip number three, budget wisely. Remember, when you're planning to budget for a new home, remember the initial price is just a starting point, which is known as the base price. You might want extra feature upgraded like kitchen cabinets, countertops, flooring, and the latest home gadgets. Plus, some locations like with great views or bigger lots may cost more. And don't forget about closing costs, which are what you pay when you finalize buying your house. These additions along with closing costs can really add up. To understand what you can afford, it's always best to sit down with a lender. They'll help you see the big picture of your budget, including down payments, loan options, and all these extra costs. Talking to a lender makes sure you're financially prepared for everything involved for buying your new home. Tip number four, location, location, location. Picking where your home is isn't just about a place on the map. It's a big deal. It's all about the lifestyle and what's nearby, like your job, fun places, schools. The right location can really add value to your home, especially if it's a spot where a lot of people want to live. Think about the safety and how it feels too. Is it friendly? Does it suit your way of life? These things are super important. A great location doesn't just make it easier, it can also mean your home will be worth more if you decide to sell down the road. Tip number five, importance of a home inspection. Just because your home is new doesn't mean it's perfect. A detailed check by a home inspector can find any building mistakes or even things that might need fixing later. This is really important to keep you safe and to protect your money you spent on your home. And here's an extra tip. Get another inspection about 10 months after you move in. Why? By then you have lived in the house enough to spot any problems that weren't obvious at first. This is a big deal because most new homes have a home warranty for the first year. If you find anything before the home warranty ends, the builder has to fix it. This is a smart way to look after your investment and keep your home in great shape. Tip number six, be prepared for delays. Yes, there is delays. When you're building a home, remember that the date they say it'll be done is more like a goal. I always tell people to think of it as a closing date, as an estimate. It's the builder's target to hand over those keys, but sometimes things happen. Delays can come up because things like not having enough material, bad weather, or waiting on permits. So it's a good idea to be ready for these things. If you know that the date might change, it won't be such a big surprise if it does. So being flexible and having a backup plan can save you a lot of work. Tip number seven, understanding your warranty. A warranty on your new home is really important. 
It's like a promise from the builder to fix certain things if they go wrong and how to tell the builder if you need a repair. Different builders offer different warranties, so it's a key to understand yours. This way, if something unexpected happens, you know you're covered. Tip number eight, customization option. Making your new home your own is super fun. This is where you get to pick out what you like. We already talked about the cost of adding extra stuff in our budget segment. Now let's look at the cool things you can choose. You can change how the rooms are set up, pick your favorite colors and designs, and add special features. Each choice you make adds something special to your home. But remember, these things can cost more. So it's all about picking what you really love and what you can afford. It's like balancing what you want with what's best for your wallet. Tip number nine. Future resale value. Buying a home is not just for now. It's also an investment for the future. When you think about selling your home one day, some things can make it worth more. How well you keep up with your home is also important. Also what's happening in your neighborhood and how the whole Las Vegas market is doing matters too. Homes in a great location and that are in good shape usually sell for more money later. Tip number 10, check see if there's any cancels or if there's any quick moving readies. These are great opportunities to get a good deal, especially when they have canceled and if there's any uh, quick moving readies. I think this is a good chance for many of my clients to capitalize on getting a good deal. Why? Because these homes are already being built ahead of time by the builder. They pick the upgrades for you guys. So most of the time when they're just sitting there, it's a good chance to land a great deal. So remember to ask your agent what canceled or what quick movements ready are available because you never know that might be a good opportunity. So if you stay to the end of this video, congratulations because here's the bonus tip, have an outside realtor. It's critical to use your own realtor when buying a new home. Someone who's not connected to the builder, why? Your realtor does a lot more than you might think. They just don't help you to get a better price. They can also negotiate with the builder to cover some or all of your closing costs get you upgrades, and even work on your rate buy downs for your mortgage. Plus, they'll review all the contracts to make sure everything is in your best interest. Remember, it's really important to bring your realtor on your first visit to the new home builder. If they're not there from the start, the builder might not let them help you later. Your realtor is all about looking out for you. Realtors from the builders are nice and knowledgeable, but they work for the builder. So just something to keep in mind, guys. Your realtor's job is to make sure your needs and wants are top priority. This can make a huge difference on how well your home buying experience goes. And there we have it, guys. Your essential guide to buying a new build in Las Vegas topped off with that critical bonus tip. I hope this video has been very helpful. If you enjoyed it, please like, share, and don't forget to subscribe for more insightful content. Until next time, guys.